All right, Shalom. Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rakakadash. Yahweh is the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shai is the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of His only begotten Son, our Lord and our Savior. Rakakadash is the Holy Spirit that speaks through us, that allows us to rightly divide the word of truth and teach the word correctly and directly. The elders of Israel being the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Shalom wahabla bachir shar sharala, which is peace and love to the elect of Israel. Come back at y'all again with another lesson. Bahar Khakurash Amaf and the Holy Spirit of Truth. And the title of this lesson is going to be something along the lines of Esau hates the Bible. Esau hates the Bible. Slash truth. Oh, okay. Actually, if you got that, John, we can start off with that. Okay, and the reason why he hates the Bible and the reason why he Hates the truth, okay. Well, we just let the we let the scriptures talk, man. I don't want my to be edifying, uplifting, and exhorting. All right, we're gonna hop right into the spirit and you know let the spirit do what it does. Okay, this is John eight and thirty two, and this is Yahweh Shah speaking, and he says, "And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free." Because the truth, the Esau hates the truth. Why? Because the truth. Is what's making us free. He doesn't want us to be free. He wants us to be slaves onto him perpetually. And that's why he's bringing out that karagma. All right. Being the uh, C -A -R -F -I -D -C -H -I -P, Because that's going to. That's modern day shackles. That's the modern day yoke. All right. That digital awe. All right. When you go into the book of Exodus 21. It says if you love your master. And you love your wife. All right. And your children. You go to the uh, gate. You go to the judges. And you go to the gate to the city. And you get a. Uh, uh, you get your ear bored through with an awe Okay, so that was a, a ancient sign of perpetual slavery Modern day, here in modern day times uh, The all is digital, alright A-U-L, the all is digital Alright, which is the uh, C-H-I-P Which is how Esau is gonna uh, He's gonna put this C-H-I-P within you And uh, track you everywhere you go Alright, because when you go into that word M-A-R-K In the book of Revelations 13 and 16 It goes back to the Greek word karagma which means an incision, all right, an engraving, okay? It's something that's physical, all right? And that incision is going to be done with that syringe, all right, when they inject that C-hip into your uh, uh, brain or into your hand, all right? Anywhere in your body, you get that shit, you're doomed for death. You're doomed for fire, as the prophecy says, man. But when you go into the root of the word karagma, it goes back to the Greek karax, which means a palisade. And when you go to the when you go to the root of the word karax, it goes back to the Greek word grapho, which means um, records. All right, so all your records, all your information is going to be stored on this small this small device the size of a, a grain of rice. Okay, so all that to say that Esau wants you to be a slave. What is freeing us from the slave mentality is the Bible, is the tr the truth of the Bible. Okay, because they set up these Christian churches to teach lies using the Bible. But we're cutting all that down. We breaking all that apart. Mm -hmm. You got something else? And I was gonna say they also using the uh, draconial laws. You know what I'm saying? These um, unlawful decrees that they coming up. You know what I'm saying? To come up against the Bible, like you said, they hate the Bible. They hate the truth. They can't handle the truth. So, cause they they the father of lies. So that's that's all that they they was created to be wicked. So that's what they're going to do. You can't expect nothing else from this devil but to do wicked and, and, and be a deceiver. Devil means a deceiver. And that's what this devil is. He just deceived, you know what I'm saying, the whole entire world to, to follow out the, his wickedness. You know what I'm saying? But us knowing this truth, having this truth now, uh, the, the true meaning of, these, of, the, of this Bible, it, it, it makes them mad. They're, they mad now, man, because cause this is something that they've been holding back. They've been trying to keep this truth suppressed for years and, and, and spent millions of dollars to do so. Yeah. But now the truth is out the bag and they hate it, you know? Yeah, they, they, they built this whole this whole uh, system is built to keep us away from truth, to keep us away from our God, to keep us away from our power. And the book of Isaiah says, your iniquities, your iniquities have separated you from your power. And that was their goal. That was their whole goal. Their whole goal was to, we can go into that Maccabees now. Their whole goal was to separate us from our God and the laws that come with our God, our power, Yahweh. Because that's when we are strong. That's when we are unstoppable. It says that in the book of, um, it says that in the book of, uh, Judith, okay, with, um, the Ammonite, okay, uh, Achor, the Ammonite Achor. 
he was telling Holofernes, he said, look, if these Israelites, if they're serving their God, if they're right with their power, we're not going to win any battles against them. If they're going off and if they're sinning, if they're in their iniquity, then we'll be able to overtake them e easily. Why? Because they're separated from their God. So their whole their whole goal was to separate the Israelites from Yahweh. All right. Bahasham Yahweh Shine, our name of his only begotten son. And they do so by pushing all type of lies, that by promoting wickedness, they incentivize wickedness. Mm -hmm. Wick wickedness is incentivized, man. All right. A woman, she's incentivized to be a hoe, to be a harlot. OK, a man, he's incentivized to be a, 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 a drug dealer, a gangbanger, so-called, you know, entertainer in this world. They're incentivized. But righteousness, it says folly is set in great dignity, but the rich sit in a low place. Rich in what? Rich in faith. All right. Folly is set in great dignity. Wickedness. Wickedness is exalted in this uh, society, man. All right. So what do our people, our people want to have an easy life? So they what? They have to partake in wickedness. Okay. But you. Uh, I had another. I had one real quick. Uh, <clears throat> Second Edris 16 and 71. It says they shall be like mad men sparing none. But still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. Alright. So they're going to come after the men of the Lord, man. Alright. Because, hey, we fear the Lord. so And we're going fear to fear the Lord and not man. And so they're going to come at us. You know what I'm saying? Because we've returned back to our power. And they and, and they hate that, man. Because, like the brother said, hey, us returning back to our power, man, means that they about to lose power. Mm -hmm. Pretty much, you know. And, and and so that's why they're going to push forth everything out the bag, everything they can to stop it. You know what I'm saying? But all they're doing is, is making prophecy come even faster, exactly. man. So go ahead and, and do what you got to do, man, because we want this shit to end, man. We tired of this devil ruling in, in wickedness and, and pushing forth their, their all the wickedness, man. It's, it's vexing, you know. Con. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll hit this in Psalms. We can really just get Con. that Maccabees last. So we just empty the clip on everything we got, then hit that Maccabees last. This is uh, Psalms chapter 50 and verse 16. But unto the wicked, Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai saith, What hast thou to do to declare my statutes? Or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth? You got uh, in the land of Israel today, you got a bunch of bastards. You got a bunch of imposters claiming that they're the sons of God, that they're the chosen people, that they're the princes of the power, that they're the Israelites. All right. Really, they use the word Israeli. All right. All right. Which which is which is uh, a play on words. OK, is Israeli. When you look up the definition of Israeli, it says a modern day inhabitant of the land of Israel. When you look up Israelite, it says an ancient, ancient day inhabitant of the land of Israel, showing you that they're not the same people. The people that uh, the Lord delivered out of ancient Egypt and brought them into the uh, into the land, the holy land. OK, it's not the same people that's in the land of Israel today. OK. Which those people are the people that rule the world. And the people that rule the world are wicked. Job 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. The people that rule the world is wicked. Alright. That's why the Bible is, is not being promoted anymore. Alright. They say uh, Reagan. It was Reagan. He claimed that the Bible was the law of the land. Right. That's mm -hmm. declaring. That's the uh, taking the Lord's statutes in their uh, hand. Right. Right. But and none of the laws of the Bible is being upheld. Right. That's right. And, and this devil know that they ain't the, the true uh, the Israelites that the Bible speak of, man. That's why they, the, you wish, they, they say they're ish. And when you go, that means to be like. So they know they ain't the, the true, the chosen people that the Lord chose. Yeah. yeah. You know, they don't fit the, they don't fit the description. They man. don't. All right. The Bible actually gives a clear description of who the Israelites are. The Bible gives a clear description that the Israelites are people of color. All right. People uh, in the book of um, in the book of Genesis, it describes Jacob being a plain man. OK, you go into that word plain. It's the Hebrew word thumb. All right. Which means uh, to be perfect. Right. To be perfect in beauty, excellent in strength. Um, and Esau doesn't fit that. Those people in the land damn sure don't fit that. Where's the, where, where, 
If they're excellent in strength, how come there's not a, 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 um, a, ish, a, a ish person, a big nose, a 1948er? How come he's not dominating in any of these uh, sports? Okay? How come he's not dominating? He's really not dominating in any category. All right? When it comes to creativity, when it comes to skill, when it comes to talent. Okay? The only thing that he's good at is lying. The only thing that he's good at is stealing. Okay, it says the thief cometh not but to steal, kill, kill, kill and, and destroy. destroy. All right, and that's what he's done. He's doing his job. He's doing his job as the devil that the Bible speaks of. He's doing his job as the wicked. Okay, it says, but unto the wicked, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh, uh, Psalms 50 and 16, but mm -hmm. unto the wicked, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai saith, What hast thou to do to declare my statutes? Or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth? Seeing that thou hatest instruction. Right. What's instruction? This Bible. Mm -hmm. th that's the true instructions. Mm -hmm. it, it's this word. The Lord's. This this word right here. That's the instruction. Like they tell you. what The acronym for Bible is. is basic instructions. Basic instructions before leaving earth. But this is the best instructions before leaving earth, man. So this is the instructions that you shall follow. But even in a court system. They. They. They they bring they bring the Bible and just put it up, put it in the back and bring out their own laws. You know what I'm saying? They don't honor these laws. They hate these the the Bible. You know? Right. Laws that they're constantly changing. Laws that they're constantly amending. Okay. And uh, we see Justin Trudeau over there in uh, Canada, the Prime Minister of Canada. He's outlawing the Bible as hate speech. He didn't outlaw the Quran. Okay. He didn't outlaw uh, any of these other books. Okay, he's he's specifically all right targeting so-called Christians. Right. He, he's specifically targeting targeting people that read the Bible. Okay, why? Because the Bible is the biggest threat to the NWO. The Bible is the biggest biggest threat to the people that's in, the wicked people that's in rulership because it, it exposes them. All right, it exposes them in the Book of Revelations. It says that the devil shall be a thou he shall be bound a thousand years. That he does not deceive the, um, that he no longer deceives the nations, okay? That thousand years took place, all right, during the Renaissance period, okay? But then it says that he shall be loosed a little season. And what would he do during that little season? Well, he does best, deceive the world, okay? Deceive the world, all right? But now the Lord, he has put his Holy Spirit within us. All right, to expose all his lies. That's um, uh, Thessalonians. Right. Yeah, and you mentioned um, the Christians when you read in this Acts, uh, what is it? Uh, Acts eleven and twenty six. It says that the disciples were called Christians, man. So they was calling the disciples, which were Israelites, Christians. So we living in um, Acts all over again, man. Where where they? Because the Christian back there was like a. a What's the word? Uh, like an insult, pretty much. You know what I'm saying? All oh, them Christians over there or something like that. And it's the same thing now, man. They really want to come against yeah. the Israelites, yeah. you know? Because the real Christians, like Pop said, the real Christians, when you go into the word Christians, it means uh, anointed ones, all right? The anointed ones, okay? Who are the anointed ones? Who are the holy ones? Deuteronomy 7 and 6. For thou art holy people above all people upon the face of the earth. Who was that written to? Deuteronomy the first chapter it says that this was written to the Israelites. The Israelites are the real Christians. More specifically, all right, because anointed mean, means to what? To, to have that oil. The oil being this knowledge, this wisdom and understanding. It says in the book of First John, we have an unction from the holy one. Therefore, we know all, all things. things. All right. So when they say Christians, they're not talking about these secular ass Christians. All right. Some Edomite. All right. In the uh, uh, in, in some church. OK. They're not talking about some Moabite. All right. Some uh, uh, Americanized Moabite. OK. The, when they say uh, Christians, they're really talking about the followers of the anointed, the followers of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. The true follower that says the hour cometh and now is where the true worshiper shall worship the father in spirit and in truth. That's their main target. But they're going to come after all, Jake. Mm -hmm. And they're going to come after, they're going to actually come after these so-called Christians as well. Every The devil is going to come down having great, great wrath, wrath because he knows that he has but a short, short time. time. Just like in the guard, uh, just like with Cain. Cain wasn't accepted. Cain was rejected because he did wrong, because he couldn't do right, because he couldn't follow the instructions. So therefore what? He murdered his brother. All right. Same with Esau. Esau was rejected. 
Therefore, what? He sought to kill Jacob. All right. And we're seeing him do the same thing here in these last days, running the same play. He's looking to murder you so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans. And he's going to make laws to justify himself. He's making the laws. The laws are being made. All right. To just so that they can justify slaughtering you. All right. A genocide on so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans. OK. But this is um, uh, Second Thessalonians chapter two. In verse 3, it says, Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. Could you get uh, Habakkuk for me? Habakkuk 2, I believe it's verse 5. It says that uh, his soul that is lifted up. Okay. Let me read that again. It says, Let no man deceive you. Second Thessalonians 2 and 3, it says, Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and we fell. But now we getting right back up on our feet. It says a righteous man shall stand in great boldness in front of the face of such that has afflicted them. And that man of sin be revealed the son of perdition. That man of sin. All right. What is sin? Transgression of the laws. What laws? The laws of the Bible. Okay. He's the man of sin. He's the man that breaks all the laws of the Bible. At least even some of these other heathens, they have they have uh, customs. All right. That uh, copy all right, was written in the Bible, like Ishmael, okay? They have certain customs, okay, that you can trace back to the Bible, okay? Even Ham, some of these other, you know, these... But Esau, he's a complete degenerate, all right? He's the one pushing man on man. He's the one pushing woman on woman. He's the one pushing grown adults with little children. He's the one pushing bestiality, right? But go ahead, could you read that for me? How you say it was worded? Habakkuk 2 and uh, 5. Okay, yeah. Uh, Habakkuk 2 and uh, 5, it says, Yea, also, because he transgressive by... What does 4 say? Uh, his soul that is lifted oh, up. Okay, kind. Verse 4. Habakkuk 2 and 4, it says, Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him. His soul that is lifted up is not upright in him. Right? When you go into that word upright, it goes back to the Hebrew word yashar. All right? which means to be uh, righteous, it means to be upright, and it also means, when you look it up on the blue letter, it'll say lawful, right? His soul is not lawful, all right? He can't yeah. follow, he hate, going back into that psalm, seeing that thou hatest instruction, the instructions of the Bible, all right? It says, all scripture is given by inspiration of the Lord. It is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, and instruction in righteousness. So that shows you that he hates the scriptures because his soul is not upright. His mm -hmm. soul is not inclined to follow what is written. Therefore, he's going to demonize the Bible. Second Peter, the second chapter, many shall follow after their pernicious ways by reason of whom the ways of truth shall be evil spoken of. The truth will be slandered. They're going to demonize us. They're going to set up false, uh, um, fake Israelites, false flags, all right, so that they can, they already got us down as a hate group, right. extremists, okay? And then they're going to call us a T, a T, a T, all right, a tearist, right, group, okay, so that they can justify uh, uh, coming and trying to slaughter us. Which they always, we're not ignorant of Satan devices, man. We know how y'all move, how y'all been moving, man. Yeah. So we, we already know. But it's written that these things is going to happen. So we ready for these things to happen, man. But I'm going to just get this Go real ahead. quick to uh, back you up. This is second. Address 3 and 36. Thou shalt find that Israel by name have kept thy precepts, but not the heathens. Mm. All right. This word was given unto us. And it's going to be found out. It's going to be the Israelites that keep this word, man. You heathens, hey, y'all hate this Bible, man. That's why y'all y'all make up your own laws. You know what I'm saying? You, you got your own gods. You know, all of that, man. Because y'all hate the true words of Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai. Yep. But uh, I'll go back into that Habakkuk. Let okay. me just finish it out right quick. Habakkuk 2 and 4. Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith but the just the righteous shall live by his faith man and that's the times that we coming into yeah where we're gonna have to purely walk on, on uh faith and not by sight that's right because the scripture says when he when the lord come back shall he find faith on earth 
Yeah. All right. Because there's going to be a lot of people that lose their faith before even shit even hit the fan. You got people losing their faith now. So how much more hey, hey, when shit really, you know what I'm saying, hit the fan, a lot of people are going to lose their faith. That's why it's important to hey, keep that faith and, and, and uh, endure to the end. Pray yeah. that the Lord keep his spirit upon you and, and endure to the end because the shit that's about to come down the pipe, man. You got to have the spirit of the Lord yeah. on you, man. Yeah. You got to have the fear and the, the faith and the fear of the Lord. You know what I'm saying? In order to go through the, uh, these, these tribulus, the, uh, uh, the trying uh, times, the trying times, the evil times, you know? Yeah. It says, um, well, you know, what is faith? It says faith is the evidence of things, uh, hope for, hope for the, the uh, evidence, no, the hate faith is the, um, yeah, the Hebrews evidence of things 11 not seen. And six. I mean, 11 and 1. Yeah, I got it. This is Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 1. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So if we're living on faith and not by sight, meaning we, we might not see any food, but we have faith because the Bible, the Lord said that he would feed his servants. All right. That he, he said in second interest that ye shall be merry and have abundance and your children shall not see hell. It says in the book of Proverbs, it says that in the fear of the Lord is strong confidence in his children as a place of uh, refuge. So we're not, you know, physically preparing for what's about to happen. We're doing it spiritually and we believe that the Lord will take care of everything else. Matthew the sixth chapter says, seek you first the kingdom of heaven and all these things shall be added unto you. All these things being what? Our clothing. All right. Our food, all of our necessities, the Lord will take care of as long as we're seeking him, his kingdom and his righteousness, man. Okay, mm -hmm. was that it on that? Okay. Was reading? All right, this is Second Thessalonians chapter two and verse five. No, so like your verse uh, uh, three again. It says, "Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition." So the man of sin, the wicked Esau, Edom, so-called uh, white race, right? The Caucasians, right? They're being revealed that they're the Edomites, all right? And in the book of Malachi, it says that uh, that the Lord hates Esau and uh, they shall be called the border of wickedness, the people that the Lord has indignation on forever. You're being revealed to be the people, the nation that the Lord hates. Mm -hmm. they, they've been found out, man, because mm -hmm. they've been running, trying to yeah. cover, cover yeah. themselves with all these other nations. They yep. say, oh, we the Egyptians. Yep. We're the, the Greeks, Romans. You know, the Greeks, the Romans, Egyptians. The, you know what I'm saying? Now they're the, saying they the, us, the exactly. Israelites. You know what I'm saying? But now you've been found out, man. You know, so, hey. Yeah. You got a lot to pay for, man. You can't run no more because you, you're, you're a vagabond, yeah. man. A fugitive yep. on the run. But now you're, right. you're back against the wall now, man. You ain't no running now. You've been exposed. And that's why, well, like they say, when, when you got like an animal... Um, blocked in where he can't run. What yeah. they do, they do attack. You know what I'm yeah. saying? That's uh, why fight or flight. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So this this is why they gonna come down with their great wrath. You know what I'm saying? Because they know it, it's over with for their yeah. their rulership. Yeah, you know? and, and nigga culture comes from Esau Edom. That degenerate ass behavior that comes from Esau Edom. When niggas say uh, snitches get stitches. Right. Nigga, you the one doing all these all these crimes. All right, and we're calling it out, and Esau has that mentality, nigga, you snitching on me. So what do niggas do? Well, they try to send that hit out, mm -hmm. right? They send that hit out, so-and-so talking. Yeah, all we right. talking, we, we telling the judge. We telling the judge, Yahweh, all right, which is the name of the Most High, and Yahweh Shai, the name of his only begotten son, we telling them, all, we telling the world all your business, man, okay? Uh, uh, we got, we got receipts, what is it? <laughs> Adrian Broner, the Apostle uh, Tahara, I was watching him earlier. He was live earlier. Mm -hmm. um, he, Adrian Broner, he's a boxer, you know, which that nigga's, he's entertaining. But I met him, we met him in uh, Miami. Miami. We met him in Miami and I was, you know, um, telling him about the, uh, attempted to tell him about Israel. He was like, man, we in Miami, man. Nobody trying to hear about no Israelite. And that's why, and that's why. <laughs> But anyways, he was saying uh, he was going in on, you know, the, uh, Alicia uh, Baumgartner. She's a, a female boxer. He's like, man, we got we got videos. All right. We got video. Your 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 shame is being is in the open. Everything is being put out on Front Street. It says shameful spewing shall be on his glory. It says the uh, the, the, the the Charles shall no more be called liberal. OK, so you're being revealed. You're being uncovered. You try to hide. 
Okay, you put on all these disguises. Okay, you paid everybody off. Okay, and they, and the same people that you put down has risen and is calling you out. Okay, it says verse four: Who opposeth and exalteth exalteth himself above all that is called God. He's opposed to the Most High. He's in complete opposition to the Most High and His Word. It says, or that is worship, so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. All right. He wants to be the Lord. He wants to. He has this God complex where he's trying to be like the most high. OK, well, in the book of Ezekiel, it says, shall you claim that you are God in front of in front of the face of him that slayeth thee? Roughly paraphrasing. So the Lord, the heavenly father, Yahweh, is going to send his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, and show you that you're but you're just a man. That that your your horses are, um, are, 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 are flesh and not spirit. OK, you got to put gas. All right. You got to charge up. OK, the, the Yahweh Shai and the angels ain't coming like that, man, it says that he's traveling in the greatness of his strength, glorious in his apparel. It says that the uh, the angels follow Yahweh Shai on white horses. White horses means pure power. OK, they don't need to stop and get gas. They don't need to bust a U-turn. OK, they can stop. They can stop on, the, you know, the drop of a dime. They can go in the opposite direction in the drop of a dime. They can cloak and uncloak themselves. OK. They can do things that we can't even explain. All right. But this devil says the pride of your heart has deceived thee. Thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rocks. He thinks that he's able to fight against the Lord. He's attempting to fight against the Lord. He has weapons specifically for when the Lord returns. All right. But you got something? Uh, that, that mean, what's that scripture uh, that say fight against the Lord when you said that? It might remind uh, me of Acts 5. Acts 5. Yeah, yeah. Acts uh, 5 yeah, Acts. 6. I think it's down a little bit further. I read it for you. This is the book of Acts chapter five. Actually, that's, yeah, that's great precept. This is Acts chapter five, in verse uh, thirty-eight. So like, yeah, it's a little scratched out in my Bible. I got it. Okay. This is Acts five and thirty-eight. It says, "And now I say unto you, refrain from these men." <laughs> See, hey, y'all about to touch the apple of the Lord's eye, man. And, and so it. Man, it's all prophesied, yeah. man. This is beautiful, man. Y'all going to yeah. come down, you know what I'm saying, with your wrath because you mad because mm. the truth is out. You've been found out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, you in a trick yeah. bag, man. You about mm -hmm. to lose. We got victory. It's, it's written that we about to have victory, mm -hmm. that we, we got mm -hmm. victory already because we have this truth, man. As long as we don't let go of it. Hey, we we on our way, man. We about to receive salvation from Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. And y'all about to receive captivity. You know what I'm saying? You're about to go into captivity for a thousand years and then be done away with, man. Read Obadiah is dedicated to you devils. You know what I'm saying? But uh, it says, and let them alone. For if this counsel of this work be of men, it will come to naught. And, and we, hey, this is not of men. You know what I'm saying? All that other, the, the, uh, what you had, like the, the Black Panther parties and all of those things, that was of men. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? This right here is of Yahweh by Shimei Washai. So this is not going to come to knock, man. Right. This is a spiritual temple that the Lord is building mm -hmm. right now, man. Mm -hmm. And you can't tear it down because it's, it's it's not physical. Because yeah. y'all are carnal. Yeah. And that's how y'all, that, hey, y'all was giving that carnal that blessing. So y'all can have that, man. We got the true blessing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's going to be forever. Yeah. Your blessing turns to a curse, and it was temporary. The same blessing you got being the sword is the same way you going out. All right, but our blessing, all right, is the covenant. All right, is this is this sword? All right, this spiritual sword, sharper. This is sharper than any two edged sword. That's right. This is what's destroying. We didn't even. It says, um, uh, uh, the wicked flee when no man pursueth. Okay, we're not chasing you with weapons. We're not carnal right. by any means, but you you feel like you're on the ropes. You feel like you're in the ropes, like you mentioned. You feel like you're backed into the corner. And all we're doing is reading the Bible. We just yeah. some broke niggas, right? Like you put out, we just some broke bum. We're the bum camp out there on the highways and byways every week exposing your plans, man. And you feel backed into a corner. You To the point where you're passing laws to say, look, y'all can't read the Bible on the streets no more. Right. Otherwise, you're going to be punished. All right? Severely punished is what, you know, the article says. All right? But go ahead. It says, verse 39, it says, but if if it 
It says, but if it be of the most high power, ye cannot overthrow it, lest happily ye be found even to fight against the most high power. And you already know you're going to lose that battle, man. Fighting against the Lord, that's a, a battle you cannot win. Right. You know? Yeah. Um, let me finish on this Psalms, and then we huh. can hit that uh, Maccabees, and, you know, the Lord's huh. will call it a lesson. This is Psalms chapter 50 and verse 16 again. It says, but unto the wicked, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, saith, what hast thou to do to declare my statutes, or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth, seeing that thou hatest instruction and casteth my words behind thee. All right, cast the Lord's words behind. They, they hate the Bible. Again, they hate the Bible. They hate mm -hmm. what's written. They hate righteousness. His soul that is lifted up is not upright. That word upright goes back to the Hebrew Yashar, which means to be righteous, which means to be lawful. His soul is not lawful. Okay? He's wicked. He's an abomination. And that's why he pushes wickedness and abominations throughout the earth. And we're sighing and crying for everything that you push in. All right? And the Lord hears, our, just like an ancient ear, Egypt, he hears our sighs and our cries. And he's coming back to avenge us, man. It says, shall not the Lord avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto them? He shall avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man come, shall he find faith on earth. That's the ones who's going to be defended, the ones that's faithful, man. All right? The scriptures say, warn to thee that has lost patience, you will not be defended. We can't lose patience, man. This devil, he's going to talk all type of shit. He's going to make all type of threats. And he's going to come down having great wrath. He's going to start killing niggas. All right? He's going to kill niggas. He's going he's gonna to start running through camps. All right? Camps like Jesus, they're not going to be, you know, or camps like, you know, that's calling on Jesus. They're not going to be defended. It says the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it in the safe. So if you're an Israelite group, you're going to be categorized with you're reading. You're out there reading the Bible. He's going to come down on you. It said the difference between you and not the difference between me and you. That's a song. I don't know who uh, who song that is, but it came came to my mind. All right. But the difference between us. You're calling on Jesus. That's not going to be no defense. You disrespected the Lord. You say you could call him your plate yogurt. The head of IUIC, he wrote the name of the uh, uh, father and the name of his son backwards. Okay? Intentionally. He intentionally wrote it backwards and scoffed at oh, the bum camp. Well, what does that say? You know, with that, that's on video, man. Mm -hmm. Okay? You disrespect the Lord's name. And the Lord, like the Apostle Tahar says, through the spirit, the Lord's going to break all these camps up, man. All right. When the devil comes down, it's not going to be, oh, that's that's GMS. That's no. He's coming for all of us. All right. And and in that day, as that second edge says, says, then you shall know who is my chosen. But you can go ahead and hit that uh, Maccabees. It's uh first Maccabees one and 50. It says, and whosoever would not do according to the commandment of the king. Can you start at um, 42? Uh, yeah, 41. Con, uh. First Maccabees 1 and 41. Moreover, King Antiochus wrote to his, his whole kingdom that all should be one people. It's the same agenda that they have right now. That's why you have Justin. See, what, what's happening in Canada is going to come to America. It really is going to be all around the world. All right. During the time of the, the, the peak of the demic, you had this slogan. All right. Uh, uh, amongst these different governments was what? Build back better. Uh, uh, Trump was saying it. All right. Biden was saying it. And then Justin Trudeau, all right, the uh, Canadian prime minister, he was also saying, showing you they're all linked together. They're all linked together. That's what they're pushing, the NWO. It's the same play. It's the same thing Nimrod tried to do. He failed. It's the same thing Antiochus tried to do, which is what we're about to read about, and he failed. <laughs> What's going to happen to you? You're going to fail, man. That's right. All right? And, and, and this is different than back then. This is the end where much glory do with the Bible. This is when the Lord is going to return, man. All right, but go ahead. Uh, 42. Uh, verse 42, it says, and everyone should leave his laws. So all the heathens agreed according to the commandments of the king. And everyone should leave his law. He really don't give a fuck about no more by all right, doing whatever the fucking weird ass more about shit that he do. Or no ham might put in his head in the camel's ass. All right. Talking about he's worshiping, the, you know, the, the, the calf. All right. He's not worried about that. His main goal was to depart the Israelites from their law. OK, from their law, from their God, from their power. That's where that's where they get their strength from. 
and our error and our flaw and, and, and us fucking up, man. But go ahead. Uh, let me get this real quick yep. to back you up. Uh, in Second Maccabees. 6 and 6 it says neither was it lawful for a man to keep sabbath days or ancient feasts or to profess himself at all to be a Jew man they, they didn't want us keeping our laws yeah I, 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 you know what I'm saying our heritage not calling us you know what I'm saying they didn't want us calling ourselves the Hebrew Israelites you know what I'm saying and keeping our laws man and it's the same thing today man it ain't nothing new under the sun you know what I'm saying but going back to this. Right, uh, read something real quick. Okay. This is Wisdom of Solomon chapter 2. I'll start at verse 1 and I'm going to jump down just to show you what it's talking about. Wisdom of Solomon 2 and 1. For the ungodly said, reasoning with them. So this is talking about the ungodly. Reasoning with themselves, but not aright. Because they're off, not upright, right? His soul that is lifted up is not upright right. in him. But not aright. Our life is short and tedious. And the death of a man, there is no remedy. Neither was there any man known to have returned from the grave. So this is the wrong. Men this, is, this, is the, this is the mentality of the ungodly, of the wicked. I'm going to jump down to verse um, see, 10. Wisdom of Solomon 2 and 10. It says, it says, let us oppress the poor righteous man. Let us not spare the widow, nor reverence the ancient gray hairs of the age. So they're, that's what they're trying. To, they're coming after the poor righteous man. It says, let our strength be the law of justice. For that which is feeble is found to be nothing worth. Therefore, let us lie and wait for the righteous. Because he is not for our turn. We're not for this devil's turn. We're not for fucking the F word. F-A-G's. We're not for them alphabet motherfuckers. We're not bundle for his sticks. whole, yeah, his bundle of sticks. We're not for this whole agenda. Everything that he stand for, we clean contrary, right? It says, because he is not for our turn and he is clean contrary to our doings. He abraded us with our offending the law. We abrade them why? by what? These videos. Because they're what? Because they're breaking the instructions of the Bible. The instructions of the most high, the creator of all things. So they hate that. So they're lying in wait to attack us. And it's getting to that point where they're going to have to come out the bushes and make their move. All right. It says he professes to have the knowledge of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. He called himself the child of the Lord. He was made to reprove our thoughts. He is grievous unto us even to behold. He hates seeing us, man. Just like Haman. All right. Haman Malone. Right. Uh. The Agagite in the book of Esther, he hated seeing Mordecai at the gate. He hated seeing just the look of Mordecai. Here it is. He was second in command in the Medio Persian Empire under Xerxes. All right. And he couldn't be, he, he was never content as long as he seen Mordecai. All right. A poor, righteous man at the gate. Okay. It says that they hate him that rebuketh in the gate, they abhor him that speaketh uprightly. Right. It says, he is grievous even unto us to behold, for his life is not like other men's. His ways are of another fashion. We don't eat pork, and that's all you devils do is eat pork and eat roadkill. All right, all you devils do is uh, 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 just do sodomite shit. Do sodomite shit. All right, just uh, bestiality. Okay, everything that you do is wicked. This whole society says that the whole world lieth in wickedness. It says we are esteemed of him as counterfeits. Uh, as counterfeits, he abstaineth from our ways as from filthiness. He pronounceth the end of the just to be blessed and maketh his boast that Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh is his father. Let us see if his words be true. This is their mentality, right? This is their, still their mentality. This is still the mentality of the ungodly. He's like, all right, well, let's see. He got all his technology. He has all these weapons. He has all the resources. So he's going to see, he's going to test what we've been saying on the videos, we're all going to be tested. We're all, it's, it's going to be shown if we're really down in these times that we're coming into. It's been great going out there on the highways and byways and camping and, and doing these uh, these videos. But now it's about to be shown each and every one of us individually is going to be tried to see if we uh, 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 really believe in what's written. And the Lord is going to use this devil to do so. More of these laws is going to come out. All right. Some of us can get locked up for, for, for not being wicked like this devil. 
Then what are we going to do? I pray Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh shall keep us, man. Yeah, that's uh, Revelations 2 and 10. It says, right. fear not. You know what I'm saying? Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. That's right. For the devil shall cast some of you into prison that ye may be tried, be faithful unto death, and receive a crown of life. That's it. Yeah. That's it. So 